Well, hello again, friends and fans. Raptor here. Welcome back. War game, Red Dragon. Pearl of the Orient, of course. Yeah, we're in Hong Kong, helping to hold the North and New Territories, North District New Territories, against Chinese invasion. So what we need to do here is we are just at the start of turn five, had a nice successful naval battle against the Chinese here. You can see they, they got wrecked, mate. They really did. That fire is actually really cool. That's a really nice graphic. But uh, what we do need to do now is defend North District and the New Territories against a onslaught of Chinese tanks. A ton of them coming, in fact. What we do need to do is we need to move our Anzac Armored up to assist against all of these Chinese tanks. Alright, Anzacs are in place. They won't be in play until the next turn, I believe. But we do have the Commando Regiment now that can embark and sneak up into one of these areas. We do have a Airborne Regiment there, which is going to be extremely deadly against them and a militia regiment, but one thing we can do with the commandos is we can, if we can get them into the new territories, on the next turn we might be able to sneak them into Badan, and, uh, or Bowan? Badan or Boan? Oh, it's, you know, it's Boan, but to me, honestly, in this game, the O's and the D's and the 1's and the I's look identical, so if I've made that mistake a few times, I apologize, but anyway, we'll roll on then. Uh, ADATs would be extremely useful here at the, uh, new territories for killing t tanks long distance and our biggest problem is that damn artillery uh, we do have a lot of little tanks to destroy and uh, the ADATs would be pretty good against them but really what we could use them for most is uh, against these uh, aircraft here in addition to the air defense company without calling out the big points so what we'll do is we'll move up our gunships we'll move up our um, ADATs our anti-tank and we'll move up our commando regiment, or we can sneak them around to Naval Sector Echo, which we have to do by getting to, um, we could do that. Actually, we could go to uh, Lantau Island and defend a little more effectively against those Marines over there. Our Navy here is doing a real good job against stopping a naval landing. So what I will do then uh, is move them over here. And we should be able to embark them into Naval Sector Echo, and then embark them into the face of the Chinese here at Badan, or Bao Baoan. So, alright, so we, I don't know exactly why this uh, is flashing, but uh, it is part of the next battle going on, maybe that's why. Oh, you know, there are several units flashing, so. Alright, we will begin the Battle of North District. Again, if you enjoy this, like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend, and thank you so much for all of your support. It's so good to hear you all talking about the Rat Pack and telling people to join up and learn about these units and everything. And of course, I don't know everything uh, the internet does, but I'm learning day by day, and so I'm glad I can teach you a few things, and in turn, you all teach me a few things. But together, let's te the, teach the Chinese a lesson here as we're going to defend this area. It's going to be a real good battle, too. Uh, we don't have any cohesion. They, do, they have bonus points here. <clears throat> but uh, just taking a look at our units here, we're going to have a lot of fun, so let's get started. Alright, so we're here finally, Tucson Juan, New Territories, and Delta. <laughs> yeah, of course, the famous area of Delta. Alright, so uh, Yan Tian is going to have a ton of tanks rolling out of it, pretty much on fire. And we have your favorite here today, the Harrier GR3s, that are going to turn uh, the, the, uh, the uh, I guess you could call him the Chairman Mao, the current Chairman Mao, or the, I guess they would call him the, pri uh, not the Prime Minister, but the Premier, uh, the Chinese Premier. Uh, we're going to turn his tanks uh, from going forward into going explody. So let's go ahead and get started. As I said, or as, we, as you've seen before, it's probably the most important to keep the commands in the back here. And let the Chinese roll on in time and time again, thinking that they're going to take all of this territory and then suddenly their dreams are smashed like their armor. So we don't have the most points in the world, but we can get a lot of them by holding Delta, New Territories, and Tucson Juan as long as possible. At Delta, they'll send over a command as they've done the last few times. But again, our most powerful asset here will be GR3s. And to keep an eye on these bastards, we're going to call out Snebs. These gazelles are really good at keeping an eye on them. And uh, that's where most of our points going to go for the start is recon because the initial rush can be destroyed on these bridges if we hit them right with uh, GR3s and, uh, uh, well, I, just the GR3s. I was thinking we have cluster bomb, but we don't. But anyway, they're, they're still an effective uh, makeshift cluster bomber as they fire a cluster a cluster of rockets and just obliterate the enemy. These Lynx AH-7s are great too with their 68 millimeter rockets. They're going to stun, gun, and run. So uh, let's just take a look at what we've got left. 
We'll have uh, a couple of tanks hold against the Chinese, maybe. But actually, these Gurkhas are really what we want to do, what we really want to use. I'm, I'm finding the Milans are not as effective as I wish they were, and they're only, unfortunately, only for 40% accuracy is not good. So what we'll do is we'll put these links inside these towns and make the Chinese kind of try to drive into the Gurkhas and uh, drive into their own death. Meanwhile, we do have a few extra points to spend. We do need a ground force ready uh, right at the start. We have nothing here to defend the new territories except for we have the most mobile force ever, again, the Harrier GR3s. Even though we might not have boots in every place we need, we're definitely holding these Chinese time and time again. So let's launch this battle. Let's get our troops deployed. And we'll use these uh, AH-7s as a makeshift, um, as a makeshift uh, trans, uh, to kind of a moving tank, I suppose. That's a stupid thing to say, but really we can move them anywhere we need them on the battlefield at any time. So our Gurkhas are set, Gazelles are ready, Snebs are ready. These troops are also deployed, and we're sh we're shooting for the stars here. We should be good. All right, so let's go ahead and move our recon up a little bit, see where they're rolling. Looks like they're going to come down the main highway here, and we'll have a little uh, little uh, present waiting for them. A Margaret Thatcher pimp smack. Oh, are they going to do it? Oh, this is beautiful. All right, so we do need 160 points before we call out two of these, so it will be just a minute before we get them. Looks like they're also going to be rolling down this bridge, possibly. Oh, but they're reconsidering. Yes, excellent. Oh, this is fantastic. All right, we're going to have to keep an eye on them and uh, call in these rockets at the right time. It's all it's always difficult to hit them with the cluster or rocket barrages like this. We're talking about a moving target. We're talking about them being on move fast on a highway. It's not the easiest thing in the world to hit these, but we just did hit some of them there. Oh, look at the pain. Damn. Call those aircraft Metal Gear Solid Phantom Pain, because seriously, they're bringing the pain and then they just disappear. Look at that, all those links are doing a good job at stopping them. They pinned them down perfectly. Beautiful. We're not always going to get a kill on these uh, strikes, but we're definitely going to get a kill at some point. Look at that clump. Damn. keep calling in these strikes. Alright, they did cap, uh, they counter-capped the new territories sector. We're going to go ahead and pop that recon there. And we'll go ahead and hit the other ones. Ah, there it is, the ZZZ-59. We're going to focus more on stopping this advance because, wow, that's, that is loud. Uh, we're going to stop the advance just because it's the most important thing to get rid of at the moment. And plus there's 60 points each sitting there, waiting to die. We'll get some of these links out of the way now. As they're going to get machine gunned to death. They're going to have to get past the Gurkhas if they want to get through uh, through our security. We can move the links over here and have them fight the Gurkhas. It's not a big deal. We'll lose air superiority for a minute or two as, we have to, as we've lost the left side. But... Uh, Chinese really can't come back at us with anything here, can they? They will try to find our command with the ZZC. And uh, the enemy apparently has engaged its cloaking device. This is why I always just tell it to attack ground, and why I would rather have it hit blank ground than not hit at all. It's a pain in the ass to have these double back and do all the stuff that they're supposed to be doing to hit the damn target. And as you can see, they're just basically open targets. Alright, the Z ZTZs are getting close. Harrier GR3, idiot up there, can't, uh, can't hang out forever. Wow, look at all of that armor. Now, how did the computer magically know where my command was? He couldn't see it. How did he know just to come over here? Oh, interesting. We'll be able to see him now with the snaps there.
All right, so they're getting pretty close, aren't they? Time for us to go. So now suddenly, look at that, they broke off their attack. Hilarious. Alright, we'll just sneak around the other way. Do need to make sure some of our things are off the line. Alright, Gurkhas are going to be ready to strike. These 88s are worth a lot of points. I believe, 60 points, so that's nothing to scowl at. Recon's getting attacked. That's the problem. You gotta kinda watch everything all equally. See if we can pop some of these uh, recons. They're calling in smoke now. That's doing nothing against our own troops. Alright, we should have this uh, Tucson Juan area again. See, we're really playing in an interesting way. We're not fighting the enemy the way they wish we would fight them. We don't have a line of challengers for them just to wreck. We're actually just kind of letting them come into our attack, or to their attack, going, you know, welcoming them, welcoming them right in, and then just bombing the hell out of them. Cluster bombs would be great here, but look at all that recon. ZTZ is back. We'll get uh, Chieftain Mark 10s out to deal with him. Oh, can't call out any more of those at the moment. Look at them just racing over here. We'll lure them over here, and then once the you know c computer's found its way over, oh, they did destroy our command there. Q511s are up. Oh, what? Why did they start breaking off? Oh, I wonder why. It's because I took off, and now their cluster munitions are worthless. Even though they could have attacked with missiles, they don't. All right, Chief Mark 10s will take out that tank. Gurgas are still alive. Oh, you know what? Chieftains, they've locked on. Oh, yep, okay. Now this battle I knew wouldn't be as easy, however it's uh, definitely made a lot easier with all of those rockets we're able to call out. Q511's coming in for the fifth or sixth time. seen what these units are before. I've never really looked at them. They're a pain in the ass recon is what they are. It may have been better to have an HQ section just hold in that corner. However, they would have attacked. Now that they kind of quote unquote don't know where we are, that's when the uh, attack ceases and they go back to the middle and then we just kind of come up again. But they've got so much recon and nothing to really kill it with. Enemy supply truck's been captured and they're just going to suicide their own supply truck. I always hated that. Helicopter's going to land right on that side of the highway and guess who's getting fudged up? Eights are running. Lijian special forces are there. We're going to try to take them out. Give our uh, Gurkhas a little easier time. They'll be firing artillery soon at our uh, our command. And look at that. Now they're all where <laughs> our command used to be. Like, what the fuck? Why isn't he here anymore? Yeah, it's because I moved. Q511s are still incompetent. I can't make the can't make the attack work. I don't know why I keep zooming over there. 
All right, we'll kill the rest of those recons, kill the rest of those tanks out in the open. Gurkhas are going to do a good job to defend that. Uh, we did lose that one command, unfortunately. We do have uh, two of them left, so we still have plenty to go. We're just going to get out of there rather than risking it. Gurkhas have done an excellent job to delay the enemy there. It's really make it's made it so that way they have to go through this section kind of like a backwards L rather than actually attacking us. Also, if I would have gotten a fob, they would have just crushed it on both sides, so that's fine. And they've actually given up on the new territories section. They're not even capturing it anymore. All right, so we have the ferret with the nice ATGMs. Call out a couple of those and keep striking on these tanks. Pacow, they're going to get it. Gurkha's uh, just found out pot was legalized. There we go. Killed something. Alright, we'll call out the rest of the chieftains we need. Actually, we'll call out those on Harden now. Tanks are just driving right into death. Now, smoke should affect the tanks more than it actually affects the Gurkhas. The Gurkhas should actually have no problem killing any of these units, which in my opinion is kind of BS. I mean, we're sitting right on top of these tanks. And if you were given a toilet paper roll to look out of and I set off a smoke grenade in front of you, you're probably not going to be able to see where I'm at. Anyway, we have 95 points left to get. Let's hit some of these tanks on the road. Again, the Harrier GR3s have saved the day. We've had to break from the uh, battle this time a lot more than we wanted, and I actually wanted to recapture those new territories. I was hoping that they hadn't, but another total victory, and uh, unfortunately the enemy will have an extra callout zone against us. But this does mean we can focus our defense around one area instead. Uh, that's going to be more about the center. That means we can have more troops. Unfortunately, we're running low on tanks. However, we do have the help of our brothers from the Anzac Corps, or our cousins with the Leopard ASIs, which are really good units, really good, 40 points. Uh, they're like, they combine functionality with affordability, so it's really going to help us out a lot. Not to mention that they've got good recon units as well, but really the most important thing that they've got is going to be the, uh, where is it now, the, um, in addition to the ASI, the, uh, I thought they had something else. The Man Caddy is actually going to really help us out too. Additional supply trucks since we're not going to really be using a fob so much. They'll be rolling over us, but we've kept them at bay time and time again. That's it for this run. I'll see you guys next time. Password Pimpan Strong, thanks so much for the support and all the good uh, the good vibes. You guys sent them positive vibes, so thanks so much for that, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.